Hi everybody, my name is Nikki and today we are going to be talking about evolution. If you haven't already seen it, it will be worth watching our other video on adaptations as that will help with everything that we're going to say in this session here. So as we know, animals are adapted to their habitats and this helps them to be able to survive. But how does this process occur? There was a scientist who lived many years ago called Charles Darwin, and he developed a scientific theory called natural selection. And this was the process by which over time, animals become more and more adapted to their habitat, or in other words, they evolve. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how this process happens. The first thing to think about is that animals of any species have what we call variants. In other words, there is variety. In a second, I want you to stop the camera and pause and have a little think about members of your own family, perhaps brothers and sisters, mums, dads, aunties, uncles and grandparents. Because you are related, you will have a lot of similarities, but you will also have some differences. And it's these differences that we call variances. All animals have variants too. If you take, for example, our fallow deer that we have living here at the park, they're all the same species. However, some of them are lighter brown, some of them are more gray. Most of them have spots, some of them have lots, some of them have a few, and some of them have sort of somewhere in the middle. And so why is this important? It is very helpful for us here at the park to know the difference between our animals, but actually it's a really important biological reason why this variation exists. So this variance is really important because in some situations, the environment can determine that some of those variations help the animal to survive more than others. We're gonna talk about this to break it down to show you in a little bit more detail. So here we can see this green background, which represents a habitat. For the animals that live there, camouflage is really important. Camouflage, a great science word, means to blend into your background and it can be important for both predators and prey. In this case, it's important that the animal that we're talking about is a prey item and that it wants to be camouflaged so it does not get eaten. Take these two animals here. They are very similar to each other. They eat the same thing. They have the same number of legs, but there is variance. They are different colors. The brother is green and the sister is red. If they live in a green habitat, which animal is more likely to survive because they have the better camouflage? Have a pause and think. So if you said the green animal would be more camouflage and more likely to survive, you are absolutely right. Unfortunately, the red animal does stand out in that habitat and it means it's more likely to be eaten and it won't survive and therefore no red babies will be born. The green animal on the other hand has an advantage in that habitat. It's nice and camouflage and so it'll be more likely to go on and have babies which will also be green and it helps them to be camouflaged as well. When this happens after uh, multiple generations, so again and again and again and again, it means that the animals become adapted. They are very well suited to their habitat. So it is the habitat which determines which variance or which feature is an advantage to the animals. So in this case, we've said that it's the green color because this provides the best camouflage in the green habitat. At this time, the world is experiencing all kinds of challenges. And this can mean that our planet and its habitats are changing really, really quickly. So this can mean, for example, that animals cannot keep up with the change in adaptations. For example, say these two animals, the green and the red, woke up again one morning and all of a sudden the habitat had changed to become red. Which animal would now survive better and have the better camouflage? Pause the video for a minute and have a think. So if you said the red animal, you are absolutely right. The green one would not survive because its camouflage is no longer effective in that environment, whereas the red animal would survive and it would go on to have babies who would also be red. And when this process happens again, this animal then becomes adapted to its environment. This is a very simplified example of how the process of evolution works. 
It will help you to understand how the different features of any group of offspring can help them to survive or can actually mean that they are less likely to survive.